Aloha world, this is Pineapple Princess and welcome to our Leihaku making. Leihaku is basically a lei for the head and it is commonly worn by Pacific Islanders and especially Hawaiians, Tahitians and everyone in the Pacific Islands. Um, I love making this. I took some fresh flowers and fresh ferns from the garden today and I believe I have enough to make myself a leihaku. So first I went ahead and gathered different colors of flowers again from my backyard. I took some ferns. I washed them very well with cold water just to remove some dusts and some debris, maybe some bugs that may have stuck in the flowers and very gently I'm going to wash it with cold water. When making a lei, any type of lei, neck lei, lei for the head, lei for gifting and lei for the altars of course, you want to make sure you're not stressed out and that you are full of love because anything you touch gets whatever you're feeling inside and outside so today i feel loved and full of love so i'm going to touch each flower and hopefully uh, since i'm gifting it to myself i will wake up tomorrow and wear it refreshed and also full of love First things first was I soak the raffia into the water. So raffia sucks some water and it holds water just so the flowers will last long and also so that they are flexible when you're tying them. Uh, one of the raffia is composed of six long strands which I then braided like a rope. And that's where we are going to lay the flowers and the greeneries on. And then I added one long string tied on it. I will then prepare the greeneries. Uh, today I only took some ferns because it is late in the afternoon and I don't want to remove a whole bunch of stems from the other plants since they are right now about ready to sleep for the night so i only took three fern leaves and this should be enough i kept the tip intact about two inches long because i'm going to put this onto each end of the lay so it looks pretty so here we go we are starting out at the end of the lay and like I said I'm going to use the tip of the fern and that goes on first we'll then add the most beautiful flower in the world. <laughs> These are called plumeria and I grow different varieties in the backyard for these purposes. They smell very good and they're good for gifting and offering at the altar and to the church also. So what I'm doing is I'm alternating it flower, greens, flower, greens so what i did was green tie you know you put a you just kind of turn the tie around it three times then flower tie it up greens and then flower alternate until you get all the way to the end you want to make sure while you're adding flower as it gets longer it tends to twist because it gets heavy and the string is not big it's thin so you can put it around your head 
um, you want to make sure it doesn't get twisted otherwise your lay will look funky <laughs> Anyhow, I'm going to keep going and do the process over and over again until I have at least about 15 to 16 inches long. And usually this one takes me about 10-15 minutes. I have been doing this for half of my life, um, assisting with weddings, Hawaiian ceremonies, uh, helping out hula sisters, competitions and um, I can do this basically with my eyes closed if you have sisters or moms and especially holidays are coming or even for churches and if you have a lot of flowers in the backyard these are good to learn to put these together eventually once you know this this is the most basic type of lay you'd be able to make bouquets and other types of arrangements and actually this one will last about two weeks in the refrigerator if you know how to do it and at the end of this video I'll show you how to do it to preserve it and put it in the refrigerator until you use it it keeps it fresh Enjoy world and um, I'm just going to be here sitting with Venus. She is scratching herself for some reason. She probably picked up some fleas outside so it's time for her bath. So aloha and enjoy. Mahalo nui lua for watching my lei haku making. Aloha, bye bye.